Steve Irwin once famously said, crocodiles are easy. They try to kill and eat you. People are harder. Sometimes they pretend to be your friend first. This quote couldn't stand any more relatable to Chase Landry from Swamp People. Chase comes from a family of traditional alligator hunters, and now he is a leading member of that family. It is understandable why Chase does not phase away from hunting these gators, but at the end of the day, they are dangerous predatory reptiles. Every day on the job is just an accident waiting to happen. So when Chase went missing for a few seasons recently, fans immediately began to suspect something was wrong, and for someone who works with gators, they had thought up the worst. Chase was in an accident, but no harm came to him. What happened was that a shrimp boat began approaching Chase Landry's fishing vessel at alarming speed. At the threat of his own life and others on the boat, he opened fire on the shrimp boat, hitting it several times. Well, the owner of that shrimp boat did not see Chase Landry's cause for immediate action as justifiable and made it into a legal conflict. Chase did make it worse for him by not appearing in time to a court summon on December 7, 2017. As per legal proceedings, they even had to put out an arrest warrant for Chase Landry. Luckily, before it got any worse, the matter was swept under the rug and thus, Chase Landry made his way back to Swamp People in 2020. He is back and already in action with his cousin, Holden Landry, as his deckhand. Instead, on Infamy, the event has brought him with even more fame, with all fans caring about Chase Landry's well-being. Even if it is infamy, it only works positively to boost Chase Landry's net worth. Most sources tell us that his net worth is $200,000, but as of 2020, his net worth is believed to have doubled to around $400,000. He enjoys his career and net worth with his girlfriend, Chelsea Kinsey, and their daughter, Riley Blake Landry, born recently in 2017.